In this video, we're going to look at a few more methods that we can use with a hash. So the first thing I wanted to look at here was merging two hashes. So I've already got IRB running in the window here, and I've instantiated two hashes, one X, one called color. And I'm just going to merge those together, and I'll call it a new hash. And so what we do is we call take one of our hashes, we call the method merge, and then we give it the other hash inside the parentheses as the argument. And so now we have a hash that combines the two. Um, this is a bit of a contrived example, but say you wanted to combine two dictionaries together or something along those lines, you have the option to do that. And so it's a pretty straightforward method to utilize in putting two together. Now say we have an array. Uh, for example, let's do just a simple array like this. And I could want to convert that to a hash. Well, let's see what happens if we just do uh, y hash equal. Now the calling structure here is a it's a touch odd in what you have to do as far as calling it because it has this this asterisk that you're going to use to actually put it in there. And we're going to do this. Now it's not going to be happy. And the reason it's not happy is it's telling you here odd number of arguments. It doesn't like, you know, a hash doesn't like odd things because it needs a key and a value. And in this case, how this works is this is going to be your your key and this is your value. So let's redeclare y and add a 6 on there so we have an even number. Now let's call this and sure enough we're happy now. And look at that ordering. You see, you see how that ordering changed and it's not 1, 2, 3, 4. Instead we, we're going 5, 1, 3. So ordering got totally messed up. Be careful with that. But at least it's a hash. But what it's done is it's taken these as pairs. So the first element is the key. The second element is the value. You see what it's done here. Now we can go the other way too and you've already seen that in the sorting video that we did on hash is that you can go from a hash to an array. So if we take our color hash which is right there and we just say 2a which stands for two array now we have an array but each element of that array is a two element array. You see right here, that is an array with two elements inside of this array, the bigger one that has the three elements. So that's a little bit more of manipulating hashes.